In The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio's character is attacked by a bear, left for dead, and has to make his way out of the wilderness. In real life, Leonardo's efforts to win an Oscar have been no less arduous. He's been nominated four times, but this could finally be his year. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. I don't know what more he could do <laughs> to go and say, please give me this Oscar. The performance that Leonardo DiCaprio gives in The Revenant is by far, in my opinion, the strongest one for the category. And I really, really hope he picks up the top trophy on the night. But that means he'll be stiff competition for our own Eddie Redmayne. He took Best Actor last year for The Theory of Everything and is up again this year for The Danish Girl. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. He's not the only Brit hope though. There are two of them in the Best Supporting Actor category. Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies. This will be a first for the both of us. You should be careful. And Tom Hardy for The Revenant again. Charlotte Rampling was nominated in the Best Actress category for 45 years. She's up against Kate Blanchett and Jennifer Lawrence. I'm not prancing around in the living room at this time of night. <laughs> But it's thought that Golden Globe winner Kate Winslet could have a real chance in the Best Supporting Actress category for Steve Jobs. I don't care if she put a pipe bomb in the water heater. You're going to fix it now. She was still just as surprised at the Golden Globes to have won that against, amongst such brilliant uh, competition. And if she picks up an Oscar again, it would just be fantastic for the Brits. Mad Max Fury Road was a bit of a surprise. It's not your typical Oscars fodder, but picked up 10 nominations. Top of the leaderboard, though, is The Revenant, with 12, including Best Picture. Of course, nominations don't always translate to Oscars, and with six weeks to go, anything could happen. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.